Pavel Durov. Pavel Durov, as a social media person, I post content all the time. I have to be. This is my job, my career. And now you're sharing your data. You sell your data. I, I know because I work in police and law enforcement. If I could switch careers, I would choose a career that has zero social media. It's impossible now. What are your thoughts on CBDCs? Your data is the most important property. Do you think CZ was rightfully arrested? How do we stop scams from happening? Stop scammers from scamming? First. Welcome back to another episode of the Traders Ball podcast. Uh, this is episode 43 with Andre Kutin. We are here to interview new people every day to learn from them, learn from their wisdom uh, and what they're building in both Web3 and in tech. So you are a founder of Match Systems. But before we get to co -founder. that... Co-founder. Co-founder, sorry. Yeah. yeah, before we get to that, maybe talk a little bit about your, your introduction, your, your history and before you got into Web3. Yes, before, before my Web3 career... I think I was in uh, Web 2.0. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I studied some um, uh, engineering in, in school and I did some simple programming and uh, program developing and some other stuff. Mm. But uh, after the school, a lot of things changed <laughs> to one sphere, the, one sphere, different sphere. And uh, at the one day, I met the crypto. Mm. But before I met crypto, I studied in police university. Police university? Yeah. Whoa. Yes. Where? Uh, in Russia, in Moscow. In Russia, in Moscow. And, uh, but there I studied about like mostly for like to be a cri like criminal lawyer. Wow. Yes. And uh, that now what we're doing for, we're doing in, in investigations, but we're doing the private investigations in the different fields. Mm -hmm. And now we're doing it uh, without the other management <laughs> 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 because uh, our management is uh, m myself and my partner and my management in my company without any other bosses. And uh, we provide some such of security for different companies to we help them in different incidents because we know two approaches. We know the real approach and we know the how it's in the books right because when you are a very well educated lawyer who know everything from the university books okay here is the article or paragraph about the in codex blah 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 in life it's completely different mm -hmm. and when you combine those approaches there is the diamond and we're trying to find this diamond because uh, it's impossible when you lost like me one million dollar to retrieve it immediately mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who say you like that they are all, all the scammers can i tell you a story uh i almost got scammed this is very recent uh the person uh, reached out to me on twitter and asked and said, hey, uh, I love your podcast. I would love to collaborate with you. He said, let's let's get on a call. So I said, okay, we speak on Telegram. We have a Zoom call. It's just call, no, no video. <clears throat> now in the call, he said, well, as part of this, let me tell you about our company. This is our company, blah, blah, blah. Uh, here's the website. So I click on the website. But I, you know, when I click on the website, I, I copy, I paste in Brave browser and I put it in private, okay? I do that always. Right, Chase. Yeah. Then he said, um, so in order to know more about the company, it, it, we're a game, we're a blockchain game. Uh, you just have to, um, you know, download our uh, software. <laughs> good one, good one. <laughs> you just have to download our software. You just have to click on the link and download it. Then you'll be able to know more about us. And just play the game and give us some, some of your advice about how the game is, how the game looks like. Give us your feedback. And, you know, I know this already very well. So I said to him, I, I prefer if we meet in person, if we, if we could just, uh, is it possible if we, could, if we could meet in person and you come to me and talk to me about the game, we can discuss it. As soon as I said the sentence, he's already disappeared. And all the messages on Telegram disappeared. And he's already gone off the phone. He already hung up a long time ago. Like I was talking, talking, and he already hung up. Nothing. I was talking to an empty voice. <laughs> 
So immediately I knew <laughs> I could have gotten scammed if I clicked that link. Yes, of course. So... And there are a lot of spam uh, messages, a lot of scammers, different scammers in Telegram, in WhatsApp, in uh, I think now 30% of advertisement on the street, in the internet is completely scam. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Really, every everything what, what you see in the internet, these are copies of websites, mm. copies of projects, copies of smart contracts, and a lot, a lot, a lot. Because yeah. uh, if we will if we will go out from Web three back to traditional mm -hmm. uh, life without crypto, mm -hmm. you could find <laughs> even more <laughs> things mm -hmm. and uh, and people trying to cheat uh, much more than in crypto because crypto is very easy is is a very easiest thing to exchange it on their in fiat money and and the thing is i think the latest trend is is this way of of, of scamming you, you click on the link connect to your wallet connect once you connect your yes. wallet it just drains everything yes you could found in our telegram channel also uh, about the drainer mm. because uh, we found some a lot of information about the people who own and they i think per month all the drainers i think they earn more than 50 million dollars per month how do we stop scams from happening and also stop scammers from scamming? First, and important, to be educated. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't know the ways how you could be scammed, you will be scammed. Right. Because, for example, I have a guy. He's very famous. He he is very, he's very famous. Okay, and. Uh, he scammed by the guy, I think, for five hundred thousand uh, wow. dollars in crypto in offline from the On, training. No, in the meeting, just in the meeting. Yes. So he invested. The investor yes, invested. Yes. Oh. And everyone know in community that this guy, he's a scammer. Hmm. Right. So and that's the case because if you are not educated in the how to use crypto and how you could be scammed mm. nothing could n nothing could help you mm. that's the same in like if you download some ransomware to your computer mm. yes if you're using mac os or ubuntu or linux yes you little bit protected but little bit mm. if you are very interesting target nothing could help you mm. you must no you must think like you said you open in private mode in brave brave browser. browser yes very good very good way you're educated you now you i think 50 percent more protected than others mm -hmm. and this is the main problem because it's like uh, for example if you use uh, the bodyguards in your life mm -hmm. Nothing could help you if the stone drop from the mount. Yeah, of course. Nothing can no, help you. No nothing. One, nothing. No, no you will die. <laughs> you will die. Bow. Like this. Yes. Yeah. But but also what we need to do is to in, to exchange the information mm -hmm. between communities. The the trend that we are in, or the social media, the AI trend, is to always be connected, right? To to be online, to have a social media presence. Of course, now this opens up the whole world of of scammers to come and target you because your data is is the most important property nowadays. But you know that, for example, in uh, you know that there are some different activities in Telegram now, like to tap mm -hmm. and to earn the coins, and they ask you to share your data mm -hmm. every time. Mm -hmm. You tell them, what, all what you have is your data. Now you're sharing your data. You sell your data, mm -hmm. not you. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the users. Mm. They're sharing their data for someone. Mm. For what? To earn some coins. Mm. Like, for example, OpenAI, they have a, their coin, you know, mm -hmm. and they scan the eyes. The iris, yeah. <laughs> People sell their eye data. I don't know how to name it. Iris. I, okay. Iris data. Iris data, yeah, okay. Yeah. It could be. So I think for me, the best so solution, this is very um, ironic as a social media person. I post content all the time. I have to be. This is my job. This is my career. But if I could switch careers, I, I would choose a career that has zero social media 
and zero connection with the internet. Literally, I would have money in my basement and not have to deal with any bank. I would not have anything online. Anything online, you are vulnerable. What do you say to that? Interesting opinion and very interesting approach. Uh, but <laughs> I think it's impossible now. The famous writer mm. Brodsky, mm. he uh, he wrote a sentence that uh, stay in room, don't make a mistake, <laughs> don't go out, don't, don't make go a out. mistake. Yeah. Yes, you could, you you could, yeah. but for what? Yeah, to stay like um, you would not have a life. Yes. You could sell everything what you have and go to an island. And, True. And buy the island. There. You could buy the island. It's your money. Yes, you you could buy the island on your money. You could stay there without the phone, with a boat, with a. Uh, you could uh, fish, do fishing and or hunting and stay there. Mm. Yes, mm. but now it's it can be the normal life. Mm. Yes, you could be like a very educate mind educated. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, it, that's the way. Mm. But when people say, I will not share my data, I said, you share your data with a bank. True. Oh, it's a different. No, it's not a different. You already shared. You use the phone. Mm. You use the phone, Android, iOS, okay, any top phone. Mm -hmm. You're sharing your data with a mobile operator. Of course, network. With carrier. Well, yes, with a network. Yes. From what, from from whom you're hiding? Mm -hmm. Now it's impossible. It's when you impossible. Go, when you're going out, your face is recognized. Of course, they have a uh, face detection in their surveillance system. In every, you're from London. <laughs> <laughs> I know, very. It's one of the. It's it's uh, it's the first city which uh, uh, tried and uh, which implemented uh, the face recognition Perfect. system. Yes, and I I know because I worked in police and I know how it helpful for mm. law enforcement also. Mm. And in the internet, we're using the same things mm. to recognize the people. Mm. But the bad guys, for example, mm. you, could f you, you could face with them in some different channels. They're using special masks mm. for to, to block the face recognition mm. tools. If someone trying to rec recognize their face, it's impossible. It's completely impossible. I tried. I took the photo. I used this mask, uh, and I look the same like I, like I am. Right. But you but, cannot. But but the tool can't recognize me and can't find the wow. same uh, photo f photos in the internet. It's it's possible. That's very interesting. Is it good for privacy? Mm, if you are public, it's it's nothing for you. For if you are not public, yes, it's good for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there is the there there is the thing what which you exchanging now, you exchanging your privacy, uh, your face recognition, your data, to to live your life to live a normal life. Yes, very tough. So we have to find the right balance between you know we use this technology to track down bad people in, in the world, but there's also good people in the world that don't deserve this. And they should be allowed to live their lives. But because there's so many, there's been so many bad incidents. 9/11 happened, and many other terrorist events have happened. The governments are naturally not taking any chances. They have a no mercy approach of applying all the most smartest tools using AI to track and trace anyone, because anyone could be a criminal. You can't prevent all the things. That's the problem, and that's the mess at the same time. Because why? Because this is the life. For example, why crypto is much interesting thing than fiat? Mm. Okay, yes, everyone said this is for anarchism, uh, this is transparent, da -da -da. this much more traceable. Mm. But it need it needs time to educate the people in law enforcement, in financial intelligence unit, in universities also. Mm. We also studying the blockchain course with the Dubai blockchain center mm -hmm. to educate the people mm -hmm. to trace the money in crypto because uh, in the most of blockchains you could trace the crypto without any software mm. there are a lot of open source open source software to trace the crypto 
and uh, crypto is much um, better to be helpful because for example i uh, i took I, I took my money and i sent okay from uh, my rag bank to your nbd bank how you could trace mm -hmm. you need to go to police they need to open a case they need to fill a request after request they need to send this request to the bank to one bank to say after they need to uh, wait the one month maybe two months oh my god but in crypto boom it traced you boom 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 crypto blocked mm. and and this i think this approach and this uh, field is much more compatible with the things in real life now right that's why mm. You know, I take inspiration from uh, is it Pavel Durov. The yes, East. our neighbor here. Our neighbor here, <laughs> Pavel Durov, who lives hey. here. <laughs> uh, Pavel Durov doesn't actually own a house. He's very open about it. He doesn't actually live in any particular house. He just, he has a couple hundred million in crypto. And I think he just rents from place to place. And the reason he doesn't own any house is because he's not tied, he doesn't want to be tied down to any specific location. But it's his story. He telling like that. <laughs> you never, you will never know. But yes, <laughs> let, let, let him, let's yeah. think like that. Okay. And and uh, it's a good, it's a good advice. It's a good story because that way you cannot track, track and trace him. He's not revealing any information online. Um, Edward Snowden, right? Another key figure who released and leaked CIA data. We don't know where he lives. I actually don't know. Maybe Russia. I don't know. Russia. Okay. <laughs> but where in Russia? Do you know where? In Moscow. In Moscow. Okay, he's been granted residency by by uh, Vladimir Putin, I believe. I think yes. Um, in a way, it's it's he had to give his data to get that residency. So, going back to your 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 uh, point about to live a normal life, to be a resident anywhere, you have to have KYC. Yeah, you have to give your data for ha to have KYC, yeah. even if you're Edward Snowden, even who leaked data about the U.S. It's impossible. Otherwise you, otherwise, you cannot live anywhere. They need to identify you, even when you enter the airport. Fingerprints, <laughs> right? Yes. So, so, what what is your view on all this? Like, is this good for society? All this constant cameras, this AI, this fingerprints. Is it bad? What do you think? Uh, I think it's better. It's better. It's better. It's better than before. Now you can track. Mm. Now you can you can track. You can trace if it's if we're talking about regarding crypto. Mm. You could track an internet and all the data. You need to update it every time because mm. uh, if you could find your photos uh, seven years ago, mm. <laughs> it's it could be a little bit different, and you need to update mm -hmm. this uh, mm. information. Right, right. Like the face identification and uh, but uh, for example the, the in crypto it's life update uh, update every time because you saw what happened when CrowdStrike and Microsoft update some systems that's <laughs> true that is also true so this is the the dangers with uh, centralized systems because in centralized systems the, there's always a, there's always a backdoor access that someone can update the change the records whereas in decentralized you can't now uh, my position in that mm. no one interested in big uh, big decentralized systems mm. because big systems might <laughs> must must uh, have must have a changing algorithm because this is the life how it works mm. Mm -hmm. that's the problem and that's the case mm, interesting because okay did you ever heard about someone uh, any government who put uh, their tax records on the blockchain N no no not no. yet not yet but they will never <laughs> we know the bitcoin from 2009 year okay 2010 mm. finally mm. 14 year old child yes I very think... bipolar <laughs> <laughs> Even today, <laughs> very <laughs> the good joke. <laughs> but uh, the technology, like blockchain, it's already completed and it's already developed. But no one using it 
in the big services. Okay, for example, everyone said you must use it in the law, in the supply chains, in logistics. Who? Show me real case. Mm. Show me n n nothing. They, they could they, they, they could present and they, they could present an articles, but article is not implementation. To be clear, yeah, that's right. And that's why someone, for example, we had a case when someone stole sixty-eight million dollars, and we negotiated uh, because we found some important evidence about hacker, and we offered him the bounty. Uh, better than jail <laughs> and uh, how it could be because first we have a community second transparent blockchain you could find all the transactions and th and the third uh, when someone asking me oh you didn't uh, this case is not real I said sorry look at the blockchain explorer money goes back. I have a lot of stories from the banks, from the payment systems. Money goes out, and they're still trying to find. Mm. They're very slow. They're very backward systems, banks. They're still very slow. Still, yes. But what are your thoughts on CBDCs? CBDCs, it's centralized. And it's not about the blockchain idea. It's about to show the people that we have an alternative, but without giving them alternative method. <laughs> yeah. To show them, okay, yes, it's transparent blockchain like a crypto, use it, use it, use it. But they have it, they have it already, USDT, USDC, Euro on crypto and other projects. Mm. Mm. But the problem is liquidity, I think. Mm. Yeah, because with the CBDC, the central bank digital currency, which can, which I'm told, can set expiry dates on your money, can set rules on your money because it's all some smart contracts. You can set like you can only purchase here, not there. You can only buy ten, not more than ten. They can set all these kind of rules on your on your money in your wallet, and it can even delete money yes. in your bank. So in, is this in getting US, worse? Like USDT can delete your money as well. Tether. Tether, Circle, Circle all others them. could del delete your money. Bitcoin can't. Mm. Bitcoin can't, Monero can't, oh, yeah, Ethereum. Monero. So USDC is the same as a CBDC. And USDT is and the USDT. same. Like same as C CBDC. Yes, but it's not a like officially government-baked. Wow. But it's much more useful and much, and much better than then okay said original fiat money mm -hmm. but i think it's money <laughs> mm -hmm. but the problem as i told about the what is w not who are behind what is behind mm. where is the proof of uh, funds where is the proof of reserves mm. like the uh famous uh, you know the famous story about uh, ubs and credit suisse please tell me Two Swiss banks, one bank closed mm. because there are nothing inside. Mm. And people ask, where is our money? They said, when you see the situation, when there are monies, only the numbers on your, in your phone, you said, look, what's up? <laughs> and yes, CBDC, if it, let's, let's have a look. Mm. We'll see how it goes. But tell us more about Match Systems. So Match System, I understand, is a cybersecurity firm uh, helping with the AML, anti-money laundering, uh, compliance, uh, counter-terrorist financing. Uh, you're speaking to another individual who went to, who worked at the FCA, you know, Financial Conduct Authority. So I know compliance oh, yes. is very important. <laughs> yes. Documentation, uh, regulatory reporting. But tell us, what is Match system, Systems? And why did you come up with this name? Match Systems is because... Uh, we match in data. <laughs> we match in data and we found in this data which regarding with the entities or with the persons we need. And that's why match systems, because we're matching. Mm. We're matching what we have and what we need. Uh, 
mm-hmm. and we founding it and working with uh, those type of data. And uh, match systems uh, in the first is the team of professionals right. with a background. Very expensive because we're trying to provide the best services that we can. Mm-hmm. Because uh, if we're doing compliance, we're not only, okay, we are open world check, like six and axis or some sub or any other uh, compliance tool. Oh, nothing, nothing there. You could work. No, we have our own approach. How we're doing the um, scoring on the person, on the company, a legal entity, uh, on the crypto wallet. Because for I, I, I give you an example. They don't put markups on the wallets in crystal and in chain analysis in elliptic and in others because hmm. they want to see they want to see huh where money goes on mm. and you're receiving the money in all the tools you could use our bot you could use chain analysis ml bot crystal elliptic whoever mm-hmm. but it looks like a clean crypto mm-hmm. but after you have the hello in the airport Please come here. I have some questions. You say why? I received the I received the clean crypto because there is position and there are no rules in this game. Mm. No, okay, there are some rules. For example, if we are looking for the worstest thing, yes, there's a terrorist financing and uh, like ransomware is like terrorism 3.0 now. Uh, and uh, like child pornography and others, um, you could find some patterns in the transactions. For example, the main attackers looking for ransom to their Bitcoin wallet. If you are a traditional company from uh, Web2 world, where you could buy crypto? Um, OTC. Okay. You, you need to pay official like from your bank account because you if if you don't have a ca- mil- millions of dollars cash in your mm. <laughs> storage room uh you need to pay from the bank account yes. you need to go to kraken or to coinbase Correct. you need to create an account yes you you, you need a uh, account on exchange and there are some specific exchange like uh coinbase kraken gemini and some other brokers yes uh I don't know why, but usually uh, victims they paying ransom from those exchanges. And you see the cluster, money goes on going going on, and only one transaction marked like the ransom. All others are clean. Why? And you re- you could receive this and these transactions uh, this transaction could be marked after two, three years. Mm. And where is the ML here? You receive the clean money. You ask, okay, yes. On every each transaction, you could ask source of funds, but it's impossible mm. to be clear. Yeah, mm. <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible to ask. Source yeah, yeah. Okay, no, it's possible. It's possible to 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 do the pre screening, like personal legal entity, the crypto wallet. But to ask everyone the source of his funds in crypto, I think all the crypto all crypto platforms will lose their business or the big part of their business. That, that that's my opinion, and that's the problem that we don't still uh, don't have any united rules mm. in this world based based i don't know maybe on united nations or any other international organization who will try to okay we know fat F- oh fat F- fatf 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 yes. we have fatf financial action task yes. force financial they trying but who they are in the in the what, what they could do mm. they could wait they could say we have a red list okay this is advice advice yes you know <laughs> this is an advice yes. for uh, banks for the payment systems, for mm, companies and for others. But there's not a rule. They they can't do the real f- action or <laughs> task force, only the name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the, And that's the problem. What about um, the rise of smart contract audits, like Certic, uh, 
What are your thoughts on this? Because uh, they they seem to be making good money. What are your thoughts on smart contract auditing? Mm. <laughs> That's like using condoms. <laughs> really? You must. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to be infectioned. <laughs> I love that reference. <laughs> but But you could try without. <laughs> but better to use two or three. <laughs> <laughs> wow. but that's the real way okay it's uh, uh, th- that's the problem that I know the projects uh, which hacked by uh, after three or four audits because the main target and main key feature of the hackers who doing their bad things on the smart contracts they, they're using traditional functions mm. in smart contracts by non-regular way Mm. They're using it by non-regular way, and that's the case. Mm. Because uh, when someone doing the audit, they pushing the traditional approaches where the hacker could go, wh- what uh, type of attack could be, and also a- any and every automated tool do the same. Mm. But you must find the best guy who try to find. M- as much as possible, Ill- Ill- illegal, pff, ir- irregular approach to audit, to find the breach mm-hmm. in the smart contract. Mm-hmm. But main breach, traditionally, mm-hmm. in the team. Mm-hmm. This whole idea of uh, trustless, this whole idea since it came out from Bitcoin, the P2, you know, P2P, peer-to-peer system, this whole idea of trustless really ch- fucked everything up because now everyone is like, is it KYC or not KYC? Because trust, putting trust in an entity, is there's never been a, a time like this now where there's so much distrust. There's so much distrust. Um, and the question comes like, can I trust this entity to not do irregular activities for me? Can I trust this exchange? This exchange will not disappear. Like with uh, Celsius, uh, FTX. And it gives crypto a bad name. Okay, let's go back about the two Swiss banks. <laughs> <laughs> let's not do that, no. <laughs> banks are not better. Same, the same. I know. But okay, but okay, the biggest question. If you have an answer, we will give you some w- very big present. Where is the money? <laughs> Please, where is the money? Because money was in FTX, okay? Hmm. But... And they move it out. Mm. Where is the money? They Billions. spent it. Maybe they spent it. We need a good investigation. Mm. But we still. But they find they they already found some um, uh, property and some uh, other things from SBF family okay. and so they company. found some assets yes they found some assets and yes for example yes when when we're doing asset tracing traditional asset tracing yes it's it's quite expensive thing mm-hmm. because it's like a it's a like a business or private intelligence service it's 10 times uh expensive than if you need a asset tracing in crypto mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But to find something, you need to spend a lot of time. You need to have a good uh, contacts everywhere. And mm. the problem is that trustless, you could buy the gold mm-hmm. or you could buy the, I don't know, the car, retro car. You could trust because it's... It's physical. Some, it's something fi- yeah, it's, it's something physical. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Do you think CZ, who was arrested for money laundering, was rightfully arrested? Now he's in jail? I mean, he's coming out of jail. Yeah, he's coming out in September, but he was arrested for money laundering. Do you think he was right? Uh, it's a very problem- <laughs> complicated <laughs> question. But what is money laundering? Who said, who said these... Um, standards? Say? Yes. Hmm. Who said these standard, standards? IMF? Uh, yeah, I think IMF. They control the whole money system. Okay, uh I took my money and I go to the offline official Island Sari exchange with the dollars and I need dirhams. 
and I exchange it without any papers. Okay, yes, they have a uh, they have some information in in the system that it was exchanged this money. I did money laundering a lot. <laughs> the same in crypto. Mm. Why someone firing exchangers that they received uh, the money? Yes, I put the sign, I put, and they put the uh, some check, mark, yeah, so check. some check that this money is not <laughs> wasn't stolen <laughs> by me, and I uh, took all responsibility on myself. Mm -hmm. But in crypto, the same, the same people building the terms and conditions on exchangers and and uh, people who judge him, I think they completely doesn't know what is crypto in real life. Mm -hmm. Maybe yes, they must be a little bit more. Um, comply than they were mm. but who knows the standards mm. with, about the how to be uh, comply in this world right. in the crypto world because where is education no education about the crypto basics okay but the, you know the for example how many pilots in for, in formula 1 in the all uh, time i think hundreds of mm. pilots mm. in crypto mm. i think if we trying to find the pe people who knows real things in crypto in like compliance how exchangers working and other stuff less than i think less than 50 all around all the world mm. that's that's it so what do you think yes or no <laughs> i think yes he that he was rightfully arrested uh because uh we need the showcases. Mm. I think he was because, accepting because 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 without the show, this is it's not that it's not the point to say that um, uh, American law system. Yes, it's little bit strange. It's little <laughs> bit different than others, mm. but all the things they basing on evidence, mm. and I think it could be impossible because as as they told. They have the their internal chats with some information, with some mm, conversations. If he uh, he knows about, I don't know. Mm. I am not easy. Mm. But they have an evidence. Mm. They show some evidence in public media. Mm. That's it. Anyway, he's only serving four months. He only served four months. <laughs> but they pay very big fine. They of paid. Course. They paid. They very paid big. a very big fine. Yes. Yes. To make up for this. Interesting. Interesting. But this is the balance, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he gave back. And it, plus, the fact that Binance is still alive, it shows that Binance is here to stay. Crypto is here to stay. They could have shut down Binance. They chose not to. We will take CZ, learn your lesson, but you can continue. This is American uh, law system. <laughs> first, like first, you do the startup after you're sol solving legal issues. Mm -hmm. This is the American system. This is American system. Mm -hmm. How it is? The American dream. <laughs> <laughs> you need to pay <laughs> <laughs> to dream, to dream, to dream, <laughs> to dream, and to sleep good. First to pay, pay. <laughs> First to pay, and then you will find your dream. It's <laughs> yeah, crazy. So, what is next for Match Systems this year? We are in August now. We only have a couple months until 2025. What are you planning? I think we will present some uh, interesting automated tool, okay, which could be helpful for everyone who loses the crypto. Mm -hmm. I think this could be in few words. Like on Telegram, isn't it? The AML of, bot. Oh, uh, it's not about AML bot. Oh. It's about the. We will create the tool, mm -hmm. which could be helpful for everyone who loses. Well, okay. Who loses money? Who, lo who loses money in crypto? That's very one thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, five thousand dollars. Because, for example, in our company, we are not dealing with cases less than uh, three hundred thousand dollars. Oh, because, only three hundred above. Yes, oh, because wow. there is no way, no way to track everything. It's a way to track, but you need to pay the lawyers. Mm. You need to pay the team. You mm. need to pay the investigators and all the other stuff. It's not feasible. Regarding yes. Okay. And uh, and success fee usually it depends on So 
10 so, 10 20 percent and and you and you need to wait more than uh one year to grab this success fee because you need to uh mm, proceed all these procedures like court investigators mm. and other mm. stuff and it's, it's not a own because in traditional asset retrieving banks and other companies they waiting years mm. and years to retrieve a dollar mm -hmm. and it's not a it's joke just, yeah no in crypto it could be much faster and what we will do we will give an advice but automated by algorithm interesting and we will you will see no i love it no <laughs> because we, 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 we want to try to help mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you, you would charge a fee like a retainer fee yes or upfront yes yes upfront fee mm -hmm. and success fee and success fee for yes. retrieving the money back yes uh, i had a very interesting discussion with my friend and he said uh on my experience uh you need to spend at least from 10 to 20 percent from your uh, loss amount to retrieve other amount. That's the math only. He has 20 years experience in on very high professional cases. Interesting. In London. And uh, he said, I don't know how it works, but it works. You can't retrieve 1 million if you paid one thousand dollars it's impossible it's a life balance that's it and for us next step is to give an advice for some small amount but all the things what they could do they uh, do on their side you will see yeah of course <laughs> it will be and an, i i think uh, i will announce it near to the token Hmm. Do you think uh, as well these the rise of uh, hacks, you know, hacks on exchanges? The rise of this is also caused by uh, the, the anger towards the financial system. Um, they're stealing because because that's the most best way to get financial freedom. Stealing is faster than working a nine to five yes. job. Stealing is faster than working a government job. Stealing is faster and easier. Yes, it is. But it's uh, who stole, he will be in jail, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. But it's the karma balance. It's the karma I balance. Think. Because it's, <clears throat> uh, you don't know, I think we could, uh, we could get some st statistics from ChatGPT, for example, mm. about how, ma how, which amounts stole from traditional banks and traditional financial system before the crypto bank officer, he made a copy of the company with mm. the same name and open a bank account and send the bills <laughs> huh. for, I don't know, for podcast studio <laughs> time. Mm, expenses. Uh, yes. Crazy. And they stole, uh, with his brother, they stole more than 3 millions at the year from very big company. And it was very big scandal. It could be very big scandal, but bank, where he employed, paid this money and said, please stay silent. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and and uh, because the problem about the education, also you could, it's a free advice <laughs> now, <laughs> you could find the bad guy in any conflict, in any, uh, how to name, uh, in any hack, in any corporate uh, problem, by using polygraph with good polygraphist. Mm. You don't need super hacker, super intelligence, super uh, no, cybersecurity guys, super, I don't know what, uh, super chain analysis tool. Put him on polygraph. After, you could go next step because Polygraph with a good polygraphist, it costs okay, two three thousand oh. dollars. If you lose, if you lost a lot, I think you could spend to try to find. I know the people who um, a lot of the people who.
who find the problems by this way. And this is the way how to do. Uh, your message, what would be your, your message if you could send a message to anybody right now about security, about cybersecurity, about anything to do with being more careful, cautious? What would you say? Before you agree with someone to invest or to go in a deal, ask for an advice. You could ask ChatGPT, you could ask your neighbors, you could ask your family members, mm. or, or, or you could pay for an advice. Mm -hmm. Ask an advice, mm -hmm. and it could be better choice than lose the, than lose your money. Yeah. That's it. Fantastic. And for those who don't know about Match Systems, where can they find more information about your company? Uh, you could find on the matchsystems.com. Okay. And also you could find on Match Systems Telegram channel. Mm. And that's it. Public data? Yes. <laughs> Public data. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Amazing. Uh, Andre, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for the invitation. Appreciate the, the really um, wisdom you shared here. And uh, we look forward to definitely uh, learning from you for in the future. And let's have another podcast soon. Thank yes, you. of course. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. We will leave all the links in the description to Andre's profile as well as his website. Uh, hope you found this insightful. Lots to learn in the cybersecurity space. Be careful out there or you get wrecked. But for now, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.